Qualcomm's Snapdragon brand is at the forefront of the consumer tech world. Whether it's smartphones, wearables, headphones or VR, it's pretty much involved in everything. And, and to remind us that it is indeed still innovating, Snapdragon launched something of a special phone to show off all of its best technologies from audio and camera to performance. We've been sent one to check out and because the kit that it came in is actually quite unique, we decided we'd unbox it for you. I'm Cam Bunsen from Pocket Lint, and this is our unboxing and first impressions of the smartphone for Snapdragon Insiders. So here it is, the box for Snapdragon Insiders phone. Already you can tell this isn't your usual phone packaging. The box sleeve is in two halves and slides apart to reveal the goodies inside. First and foremost is a card with a welcome message just as a way of introducing why this phone exists. Underneath that there's the phone, front and centre, wrapped in the usual type of protective film. We'll take a look at that more a little later, because there's more stuff to get through first. Now, this package isn't just about Qualcomm's smartphone tech. It's also here to show us its true wireless bud innovations. So there's a pair of customized Master and Dynamic MW08 buds with the Snapdragon logo on the outside. Then underneath all of that, more boxes. All of them color matched to the bigger box and featuring that red Snapdragon logo outline. The biggest of the three internal boxes is the one that contains all the charging accessories. This adapter is equipped with the latest version of Qualcomm's Quick Charge tech. Specifically, that's Quick Charge 5.0, which delivers 65 watts of power through its Type-C port. In real terms, Qualcomm says you'll get about 70% charge in 30 minutes. So it's not quite as efficient as the speedy charging from the likes of OnePlus and Oppo, but it's still pretty quick. The package also contains two USB cables. One is a braided Type-C to Type-C cable for the smartphone. It's one meter long and quite durable. The other is a Type-A to Type-C cable with the same tough braided design, but is for charging the Master and Dynamic earbuds. Now, speaking of which, there's the MW08S charging case. Again, color matched with the same navy blue finish with Snapdragon Sound's logo on it. It's the same charging case as what comes with the regular MW08 buds, with a Type-C port on the side and a flip open top. The buds themselves feature Qualcomm's Bluetooth audio processor for sound and offer advanced noise cancelling and high-res audio, plus a latency-free connection to compatible phones. And lastly, there's a flexible and simple bumper case to protect the edges of the phone and a SIM ejector tool. And also the booklet containing all the information you need, like a quick start guide and details of all the phone's specs and features. Speaking of which, here's the phone. Now it's quite a hefty device and one with more than a passing resemblance to the ASUS ROG Phone 5, complete with those slim side bezels and slightly thicker framing on the top and the bottom. The screen is a large 6.78 inches and reaches the dizzying heights of 144 Hz refresh rates. And that's at Full HD Plus resolution, so 1080 by 2440. It's AMOLED based too, with peak brightnesses up to 1200 nits. It supports HDR and HDR10 Plus content and is covered with Corning's Gorilla Glass Victus for durability. As for the rear design, given the color of the packaging and everything else, it was pretty predictable. It's a navy blue finish with some red accents. Those are around the camera protrusion and the power button on the side. The standout design feature is that glowing Snapdragon logo on the back, of course, but sadly it doesn't change color. You can change its breathing pattern in the phone settings, but that's it. It also features Qualcomm's latest fingerprint sensor tech on the back as well, offering a 3D sonic sensor that's larger, more thorough and faster than the first generation. Like we've said, it's not the only Qualcomm tech in this phone. In short, if there's a feature, it's Qualcomm powered. Whether that's the high dynamic range audio and video recording enabled by the cameras and external mics, or the next gen Bluetooth and gigabit Wi-Fi 6 capabilities. Those deliver a fast, reliable wireless connection, along with the support for all global 5G bands, including sub six and millimeter wave. Internally, there is of course a top tier Snapdragon 888 processor, 16 gigabytes of speedy LPDDR5 RAM and 512 gigabytes of UFS 3.1 storage, plus the Adreno 660 graphic processor and a 4,000 milliamp hour battery. The triple camera on the back features a primary 64 megapixel sensor, 12 megapixel ultra wide and 8 megapixel telephoto with three times optical zoom. All of it powered by Qualcomm's Spectra 580 ISP and AI powered auto zoom. It even has Qualcomm's EIS and OIS for stabilization. So in short, it's a really powerful phone and it's very capable and showcases almost all of Qualcomm's Snapdragon innovations. So there you have it, the smartphone for Snapdragon Insiders. 
If you like this video, please do hit that thumbs up, subscribe and tap the notification bell to make sure you don't miss any more of our videos. I'll see you again in the next one. Bye for now.